Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Orange Fox Recovery R11 for your Android device. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is the new Orange Fox Recovery R11 and with a new redesigned touch, some UI elements have been changed, some more options have been added, which I'll be talking you through in the video, so please watch the full video. Now, so these are the first ever builds for the Orange Fox Recovery R11. Now, some devices may be stable and some may be beta. So you can check it out here also in the XDA threads of the Orange Fox you know, forum. You can see this is the Orange Fox recovery stable for my Redmi Note 7 Pro. But on my uh, Redmi Note 5 and the Redmi Note 5 Pro, uh, you can see these uh, two devices are still in beta. The Redmi Note 5 Pro as well as the Redmi Note 5 which is the wins are both in beta. So beta means make some of the options may not be working. So you can easily uh, check through the telegram groups or uh, your XDA threads if it's there. And yeah, now let's start with the new stuff which is like, you know, change and all. Now there is no change in the file manager in the installation thing. Everything is same. There are no much additions in here. But you can see the icons are a bit lighter here. Maybe some new additions from the Android Q. Yeah, maybe. Then here we have the backup and restore same as here the old one r10 you can see wipe you can hear wipe the partitions obviously and you also have the rmf rm dash f which is the linux format then here you have the main menu which has the new oh uh, sorry which has the same old stuff the mount matches uh manage partitions magic manager app manager adb side load fox add-ons into Fox add-ons, we have Magisk stuff. You can install and uninstall Magisk. Substratum, so this is actually Substratum Rescue. You can like wipe all the overlays if you are facing any boot loops or stuff. And we also have the enable init.d support, which is already present in like previous versions. If you need the scripts, you can flash it easily. And then we also have the remove password, which is actually a risky uh, thing. But yeah, if it's in your safe hands, then it's not risky. But if your device gets stolen, then yeah something might have happened like this. and it also happens in all of the recoveries you can easily like remove the password from a custom recovery that's really risky so yeah all recoveries are risky if your device is stolen and the uh, thief is a mastermind okay here we go into the settings here we have the general settings just the normal settings no changes here then the ot and rom no changes here too now the customizations yeah here we see a lot of changes so first is the theme and you can see theme changes all of the lighter themes and also we have the accent text color in tile which i have disabled because it will just turn all red and this is a really good add-on option we also have the new gestures the android 10 gestures on your recovery so yeah now you can just you know easily go back go to home from your recovery that's really nice so you can see home is this and if I enter inside, just easily go back home. I'll just go in right here. I am and do this one and just go back home. Yeah, this is the home one. That's really nice. Now get like gestures implemented into the recovery. Now here again, we go into gesture navigation. We also have this swipe uh, from status bar to open console, which will obviously do the work. And here we down, here down, we have the brightness of the display and the torch button too. Yeah. Let's get it back also here we have the torch button and also you can see it fills the flash yeah just same like the previous version not much new something to be honest so yeah here are the navigation bar and you can customize the background and also you can customize the white line here you can just add a white or accent then the status bar you can customize the clock and all that stuff you can see battery and also the status bar a background so darker also the title and the status bar shadow which is just some lines you know okay so you know that then to splash we have this new redesigned menu which you can also choose here background image just like that but it will just tell you with the text now here we also have the background color accent orange white black night and just two new modes night and dark be added night was already there maybe google one is added now here then i like the night one which i have already applied then to logo you can choose white orange white looks really better but it should be a better option with the black for amoled devices now i use orange because yeah you know it's orange fox recovery okay getting back here into fonts 
now we have this fonts menu also redesigned some fonts have been removed sadly the angry birds my favorite one is removed and we have some new weird fonts which i did not like at all so yeah i'm just using roboto secondary font also maybe for some other elements here here and there and then we have the font weight too so you can choose regular or medium to increase the font weight then yeah i just choose default now the font size also i choose small because it's best for my eyes not just like pick everything then into security yeah the same old stuff then display you have the timeout uh, you can also turn it off and you also have the brightness bar now brightness i just keep it at 15 percent i don't know why it's zero is not like not there it's just missing then you can control vibration though from this option just the same old stuff you can back up from this one and you can choose your language from the language tab and other time and other options too and into about you can see this uh, info about the developers and the team so guys uh, that is it for the customizations and the features of the new orange box recovery r11 now it has been much improved with the r10 but there are some options which have to be you know like precise and just make them better so yeah it will be better with the new upcoming updates obviously this is the first build and also for the redmi note 7 pro is stable so yeah all of the features like encryption and all the stuff is working totally fine so there are no issues at all mi or oda is also supported you can just enable like i showed so yep that's it and now let's move to the installation and yeah installation is pretty easy but still some people ask like some people are new to this so yeah let's start with the installation of this so guys to install the recovery just download your orange fox recovery r11 stable or beta and yeah just boot into custom recovery so i'm using the pitch black recovery project doesn't matter which you're using the TWRP, the pitch black recovery skyhawk recovery or orange fox 10 or any other versions now you have to just go to install go down here and choose your zip i uh, here is the orange fox recovery stable violet which is the redmi note 7 pro one and just reboot oh sorry flash and it will automatically reboot you can see rebooting recurring in five seconds. And that's it. It's done. You can see the Orange Fox recovery logo. This is the boot splash recovery splash. I can see. And yep, that's it. And now you can uh, easily install Orange Fox recovery R11 on your Android device. And of course, it should be supported. So yeah, all of the links are in the description. Go to the Orange Box website and there you can see supported devices. Choose beta or stable and check if it's R11 or not. So yeah, that is it for the installation and a small overview of the Orange Box recovery R11. And this is my Redmi Note 7 Pro and it has stable recovery. So that's really nice. So that's it. And if you guys have liked this video, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. If you have any questions regarding installation of anything, about this or any other customization options or any other bugs if you have found on any device then you can just post it down below in the comment section and also on the xda threads or the forums anywhere for a device so yeah bye bye i hope i will be able to see you guys in the next video too so yeah please stay safe and stay at your home and also uh, if it's really necessary you can just go out if it's, if it's like really necessary if it's work or something so yep Bye-bye. Please take care of yourself, guys. Bye-bye.